Let's see how good these aftermarket brakes do compared to the stock brakes. So that's my stopping distance at about 22 miles an hour. Low speed with my 48 volt SX500. We'll see how these do on my razor and report back the results so that you have data to back up. This is the results of the brake test at about 22 miles an hour and the stopping with just rear brakes and front brakes. I measured it out with the chalk line here on the street and we'll do the same with the aftermarket brakes after install. Before I install these brakes, this is the OEM razor pad. These are the aftermarket. They're Installing the new brake caliper is quite easy as they bolt right onto the existing frame. You do, however, have to replace the rotor with two millimeter thick rotors. The stock ones are three millimeters and won't fit inside this caliper. You simply remove the wheel and then you bolt this right onto the axle. It is quite easy and then install the caliper as needed. Maybe start with the front one, then move to the rear as the rear unit. With many of the brake kits on the market comes an upgraded lever. I chose to retain the OEM brake lever because it has an electronic override that shuts off the motor when the brake lever is pulled. I like that safety feature because I let the kids ride it and it's nice to have. The aftermarket brakes definitely grip better because I could skid the tire. I could not do that with the Razor factory brakes. Stay tuned for the brake distance measurement coming up. Here is the result of the brake test before and after using the stock and aftermarket brakes. These aftermarket brakes are linked in the description below. They're about $40 or $50 for the rotors, the calipers, and they bolt right on to a Razor MX500, MX650, or SX500. They do stop in about 20% less distance. I did this brake test at about 22 miles an hour with my 48 volt um, SX500 and I definitely see the improvement in braking and I'm happy with that and here is the data. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.